A Florida hospital has fired a modern woman because of her OF content. I spent a lot of time talking to my subscribers, and I just found out that one of my top, top fans is having a birthday very soon. I was going to mail it to him, but I think I'm going to deliver it myself. He lives extra, extra close, so let's see what we can find. He's going to love it. I'm kind of nervous. So we are finally here. Go inside. Let's go get him his gift. Hello. Hi, I'm looking for Jose. Jose, Jose here? Inside. Yeah, can you go get him for me? Jose! Hey! Oh my god! Hi! Happy oh. <laughs> birthday! I'm here to bring you your gifts for being what? an awesome are you fan. Serious? Yes, this is this for is you. So, those are some of the videos that she does on TikTok and Instagram to promote her OF account. The question shouldn't be would I date a regular guy? The question should be would a regular guy date me? And the answer. It's probably no. Most regular men with regular jobs are not gonna date me because, well, for starters, my body type is a little bit more niche and I'm an S worker. So majority of men don't want to- Even high value men are not going to date you. It's not just uh, normal guys. Even high value men are not gonna date you. I date women with my job that show everything to thousands of men online. And I'm well aware of that. Does it suck? Absolutely. But this was my decision and I really couldn't be happier with my choice and I really do love my life and the people that I have in it and I know that that's just one of those hazards of the job. I would love to date a regular guy, I just know that that's gonna be a bit challenging. This is why you shouldn't cry during your pregnancy. Did you know that single women own 2.71 million more homes in America than single men? That's crazy. And all credit to those women. But now we have a dilemma. Do we say that they've overcome the apparent wage gap and the patriarchal system? Or do we mention something else? What do we do? Do we praise them for their hard work? Or the divorce rate? What do we do? Feminists? Someone please tell me. I'm curious. <laughs> I just have a quick question for everyone. How am I expected to lose weight when I'm not used to losing? I still really am waiting for God, the universe, to send me a man to spoil. I'm trying to keep a list in my notes up of future gifts for you and add to it every time you mention you want or need something. I'm trying to make love to you while looking at this view. Well, not maybe up against this view. <laughs> Trying to use my nails to give you little back tracers every time your shirt's off around me. I'm trying to change your ringtone and text tone to something specific so I always know it's you and I never miss your calls. I'm trying to buy us both our dream cars and then go on little drives together. I'm trying to sleep skin to skin and fall asleep listening to your heartbeat. It may be synchronized heartbeats. I'm trying to hear all your great ideas that just need financial backing, invest in them, and then sit back and watch you just do something you love and build an empire together. I'm trying to give you unsolicited massages. I'm trying to make a list of all the restaurants you mentioned wanting to try and then pulling it up whenever we're like, hmm, what should we eat? Trying to plan our dates sometimes. That doesn't always have to be your job. Let me, let me take the load off. Gotta be your best friend. And I still really want to get you flowers. I know nobody gets you flowers. I'm gonna get him flowers. <laughs> oh man, I didn't know that there was uh, this much impact on the women. Sometimes it's hard for them to focus and uh, think properly. I mean, uh, this was is so much I defeated. <laughs> Girls that get it, get it. Of course I want my man to be happy, but as soon as he starts that as being happy without me, I'm tight. I wouldn't imagine anything because you're not even on a caliber to date a single mother. You, 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 you. Have a man pay for the babysitter if he wants to take you out. Ladies, set the standard high. Set the standard high especially since you're a mom because it's not just about you anymore it's about you and your kids like to find in a man that will meet those standards when you have kids good luck to that and i can assure you one thing i find it really stupid when i see men trying to make it a point that single mother standards are way too high but wouldn't you think that a good mother or a good woman period would want the best for her children and want the best around her children? 
So you best believe that my standards are going to be through the roof. At this point, my standards are so high, I think I'm looking for Jesus Christ himself. If you had those standards, you wouldn't have those kids. But you have those kids because you didn't have those standards. So where are the standards coming from? So now you want to create them because you have kids. Good luck to find you know, all those guys that will meet those standards. <laughs> oh, that's a great one. <laughs> Where are the men with the money that you speak of? Uh, you got rid of them, remember? You, you said it wasn't fair that men made more money, and so you insisted on an equal pay, and you asked for uh, jobs and school and money to be distributed um, towards you, and so the men who had money now make not as much as you. You know, just like you wanted. That's what you wanted, right? You might notice I use the same drawings every time because it's the same thing every time that men used to make more and then you wanted uh, equality, but men still have to pay. So now they have less money than you. And it's not because you're doing better. It's because you ask to be given for free. Here, let me show you. We don't need empowering quotes. We need promotions. There, you see that? It says the future is female promotions. Now, maybe you could check my math on this, but if the future is female promotions, then that would mean not male promotions. And promotions are where you get money. So then the future would be female money. Not like this, more like this, or even farther. So then the men with money would become the men without money because you have it yeah they are taking it through divorces and they are taking out through uh, uh the princess treatment like most guys that are doing it like maybe the girl she's not even your girlfriend but you're giving a princess treatment so they're getting money from uh, guys through that and especially divorces i mean how many people have gotten so much money and uh, also they are using children to get money from men uh, the, the child support you find that she's not even taking care of the child you are the one taking care of the child you're getting the child everything but you still have to pay her for child support not one point in my life have i ever met a man that made as much money as i did or more you sound upset we are also upset as a matter of fact in my 40s they have turned into the most pathetic group at a level of high school early 20 struggle love Yes, that's exactly what happened to me. In school, girls got bonuses and I did not. And when I looked for work, girls got bonuses and I did not. And then in the dating world, girls got bonuses and I did not. So I ended up with not very much. I was, I'm about to be 40 and this was going to be me if it wasn't for YouTube. And it's not because I didn't do these things. It's because when I did them, they told me, sorry, get at the end of the line. And then I stayed at the end of the line forever. And so did all of us. Which makes you confused for some reason because you got what you wanted. And they think that established women with financial stability are going to date them see there's where you're wrong i'm gonna let you guess what this represents it's not our income and that's what happens when you say that this isn't fair and then you use this to make this happen and then you say that you're too good for everyone too bad for you where are the men with money you where are the men who would wake up just so they could be the man who wakes up next to you? Well, I'm sorry to have to break it to you, but those men, they've already woken up and they've left. Because you see, men have now realized there's no real benefit to waking up next to you. We've seen that while you demand, demand, demand things from us, you offer little to nothing in return. At least not anything we can't already get without involving ourselves in a relationship with you. And on top of that, for decades now, y'all told us you didn't want us. Y'all told us you didn't need us. I mean it. So they only need you for a few years, maybe five years, have one or two kids with you. And let her own take half of what you owe or what you've worked for. That's going to happen. So they don't need you. They only need your resources. Without those resources, we don't be talking about relationships. Guys, thanks for watching. Subscribe to the channel.